This question, the command word is prove, so we set it up as a proof by drawing a line and keeping our left side and right side separate. I'm going to redraw this line like this. Because looking at my right-hand side, my right-hand side is sine x. There is nothing whatsoever I can do with the right-hand side. It is sine x. It's already changed to sine x. It's a single fraction. It's like the most simplest thing I can have for an identity. So I'm going to have to do something on the left side. And on the left-hand side, I have sine of pi minus x. So I can think of this as my alpha minus beta. So I have the left-hand side of a formula, and I can expand it to be the right-hand side. I don't know if that's going to help, but right now that's the only thing that I can see that we can do. So my sine alpha minus beta formula says sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta. Sometimes. Sometimes, before you get too far, it's nice to label those things out just to make sure we plug in things correctly. So I used the formula just to write down the first step, and now I'm going to reevaluate, is there anything I can do with this? Well, sine of pi and cos of pi, those are values on my unit circle. What is sine of pi? What is cos of pi? So if I go to pi on my unit circle, sine is my y-coordinate. What's my y-coordinate going to be? Zero. Cos of pi, what's my x-coordinate? Negative one. Well, zero times cos is zero. Negative and negative will be positive one times sine will just get me sine. Nice. Now, prior to this, how did we show that these were equal? Prior to this, we used graphing, right? You could have graphed sine x. And then pi minus x is the same as minus x plus pi. So if you wanted to graph that, it would be horizontal reflection and shifted pi to the left. Right. It'll be to the right. Why? Because it's not in factored form. So this one would be really, like, really set up well to make lots of mistakes for graphing. And so the proof, just using our alpha plus beta formulas, proves it for us without having to graph it and possibly make a bunch of mistakes while trying to graph it. But you could graph a reflection over the y-axis, then shifted pi to the right, and it would match up perfectly with your pi graph, sine graph to start with. OK, questions for this one are 9, 10 ii, capital ii, and 14. Oh, that's 11. 